Welcome to the Blue Coat SSL Visibility Appliance First Steps. This video tutorial describes the deployment scenario of the SSLV appliance in a network with the Blue Coat Proxy SG in a forward proxy mode. The Proxy SG policies will determine what traffic is decrypted by the SSLVA before it sends it to the security device. We will perform the following activities to complete the configuration. First, we will install the SSLV appliance in the network. Export the Proxy SG certificate and private key, then import them on the SSLVA. Create a basic rule set and then a segment for active inline mode. At this point, we will run a test to verify that no traffic is being blocked by the SSL visibility appliance. Create a rule to decrypt specific SSL traffic and test this rule, verifying the traffic is decrypted. This diagram represents the certificate signing request process. In this deployment, the proxy SG will be acting as the certificate authority. Therefore, we will export the certificate from the proxy SG and then import it into the SSL visibility appliance. In an active deployment in line with the proxy SG, the SSL visibility appliance is connected to the network as a bump in the wire, which means it is not an active device itself, it is unnoticed by other devices although the security device connected to it is active. The SSLV appliance decrypts the SSL traffic and sends it to the security device, along with all other traffic. The decryption policy is enforced according to the proxy SG configuration. First, connect the management port on the SSL visibility appliance to your management network. Then, connect the network ports in pairs, because the failure mode will allow us to select corrective options. Port 1 and Port 2 can auto-connect in a software failure, also Port 3 and Port 4, and so on. With Port 1 connected to the client or local network, in Port 2 the security device, Port 3 the other side of the security device, and Port 4 the proxy SG or outside of the network, a failure will allow the security device to continue to receive all traffic. The only loss in this case will be the SSL decryption. In this configuration, the proxy SG intercepts SSL traffic, and the SSL visibility appliance uses the proxy SG's intermediate certificate to decrypt the SSL traffic, sending it to the active security device. As mentioned, the SSL visibility appliance will also decrypt traffic intercepted by the proxy SG. Anything configured to bypass, such as financial or health sites, will not be decrypted. The active security device may find some of the traffic to be bad, for example, containing a virus or malware, in which case it will get blocked, dropping the flow. If the active device returns the traffic back to the SSL visibility appliance, the appliance assumes it to be good or virus-free and re-encrypts the traffic, sending it to the destination. First, we will export the certificate and private key at the proxy SG. To do this, let's connect to the proxy SG command line in enable mode. Enter the command show SSL key pair and the key ring name. Ours is default in this case. At this point, we will copy the output including the title lines from beginning key all the way through end key. Paste this text into a text editor such as Notepad. Next, enter the command show SSL certificate and the same key ring name. Again, copy the output including the title lines from begin certificate through end certificate and paste this text into the editor also to save. This certificate will be imported into the SSL visibility appliance. Let's log into the SSL VA web user interface Import the certificate and begin the configuration. In the web UI, select the PKI tab and the Resigning Certificate Authorities. In the Local Resigning Certificate Authorities panel, click the plus icon. The Add Local Resigning Authority window displays. Click the Paste Text tab. In the Certificate Data box, paste the certificate text that you copied from the Proxy SG including the begin certificate line through the end certificate line. In the key data box, paste the private key text that you copied from the proxy SG 
including the begin key through the end key lines. If it is applicable, select the encrypted checkbox and enter the password. Click Add. If the operation is successful, you will receive a confirmation window stating the certificate was added. Apply the changes. The Summary section in the Local Resigning Certificate Authorities panel will display the Proxy SG common name, the IP address, organization, and the model number. We must also add the certificate from the Proxy SG as an external certificate authority. To do this, in the Web UI, first select the PKI tab and External Certificate Authorities. In the External Certificate Authorities list panel, select All External Certificate Authorities. The lower panel displays all the certificates in the list. In the lower panel, click the plus icon to add. Click the Paste Text tab, then in the Certificate Data box, paste the certificate text you previously copied from the Proxy SG. If it is applicable, select the encrypted checkbox and enter the password. Click Add. If the operation is successful, you will receive a confirmation window stating the certificate was added, and the certificate appears in the summary list. To create a custom CA list, click the plus icon to add in the top panel. In the Add External Certificate Authority list window, enter a descriptive name such as Proxy SG and click OK. In the list of all external certificate authorities, select the certificate you added, click Add to Custom List, the new certificate will display in the Custom List panel. Click OK, then apply the policy changes. A rule is used to match against a specific SSL flow or set of flows. We will create a rule to allow all traffic to pass through the SSL VA in a cut-through mode, meaning no decryption will take place. The SSL VA will act as a wire, ensuring everything is connected properly. Under the Policies tab, select Rule Sets. You may add, remove, or clone rule sets. Click the plus icon to add a rule set. In the window, enter a name for the rule set, then click OK. In the Rule Set option panel, click the pencil icon and set the default internal certificate authority to the Proxy SG resign certificate that we imported. For the external certificate authorities, select the Proxy SG custom external CA we created. Confirm the attach all action is cut through. Apply the changes. In the rules panel, click the plus icon to insert a new rule. Confirm the action is cut through. Select the subject domain name pull down and choose SSLing unsupported sites. This is a short list of sites that are not decrypted by the SSL VA. Then click OK and apply the policy changes. A segment is a group of interfaces that receive traffic. It enforces the rule set use and determines the deployment mode. The segment distributes the traffic according to the policy within the rule set and copy mode. To create a segment, go to the Policies tab and select Segments. The display contains a graphical display of the system. In the Segments pane, click the plus icon to add. In the new window, select Edit then Activate Inline Fail to Appliance diagram on the top right and click OK. Select the rule set we just created, set the session log mode appropriately, and enter a description in the comments box, then click OK. The new segment will appear. Apply the policy changes. To activate the new segment, in the Segments panel, select the segment, click the Mark for Activation icon, in the activation window, set the ports as described and highlighted in pink, one side of the network and then the other. At this point, you may add optional copy ports for secondary passive devices to receive a copy of the inspected traffic. Click Next. To make this change take effect, apply the policy changes. When complete, the active segment should have a green background. Verify the active ports. With a rule set in place, we now pass traffic through the SSL Visibility Appliance to ensure we see the traffic we expect. First, a look at clear traffic by simply browsing to a variety of websites from the client machine. Next, we will connect to a site with SSL encryption, such as Gmail. This information will use the SSL certificate we imported earlier. Is all traffic being blocked? 
If so, your SSL visibility appliance may not be connected to the network properly. Review the steps for your deployment mode. When traffic is working, to verify that the SSL visibility appliance is forwarding the traffic, you can view the OnBox SSL session log. Select Monitor SSL Session Log. Look for the recent connections of the domains you visited and observe the value in the action column. Since the initial rule you created cuts through all traffic, the action should say cut through for all sessions. To set the SSL visibility appliance to decrypt SSL traffic, we will add a rule that decrypts everything that uses a specific certificate. We will of course use the certificate that we imported for our test. Under the Policies tab, select Rule Sets. In the Rule Sets panel, select the rule set we previously created. In the Rules panel, click the plus icon to insert a new rule. The Insert Rule dialog displays. For Action, select the appropriate Decryption Action of Decrypt Resign Certificate. For RSA Resigning CA, select the Resigning CA from the Proxy SG we created previously. Click OK. Apply the policy changes. To test, open the browser on the client machine and browse to an encrypted site such as bluecoat.com or gmail.com. To see the SSL traffic has been decrypted, click on the Monitor tab and select the SSL session log. Review this log for the SSL sessions from your browser. As you configure your SSL visibility appliance, you may be general or very specific with the rules that you apply, depending on the traffic you wish to decrypt. See the Administration and Deployment Guide for more details. Visit the Bluecoat SSLV First Steps Web Guide, available at BlueTouch Online, to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using your SSLV appliance to secure your network. For suggestions or comments about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.